can stand up this tent. You can fight the devil. Oh, hallelujah. But the preachers ain't fighting the devil no more. You know what? Ninety some percent of the priests ain't fighting devils no more. They tagged him on the back. Don't want to hurt his feeling. He sure don't mind taking your sons and daughters to hell. Ain't that right? Man, I'm telling you. I've got mad at him as a devil. If cussing was legal, I'd cuss you out. <laughs> and probably some of you, hey, I've been a few times, I said, devil, go to hell. <laughs> and anybody ever said that besides me? <laughs> Folks, we need to get back. What I'm trying to sh- God showed me, we, but we better get back to the old landmark. We better get back upon this foundation. God set up on his rock. I build my church. What? Apostles. Not the modern day apostles, but them that died for you. It wasn't impossible, but one gave his life, most of his head, for us to have a church to build upon. Thank God. They're at the right hand of the Father right now in glory. Praise God. And me and you need to get up on this rock of the apostles of the Bible. Not on these people running around here making themselves apostles. There you go. That's it. That's the truth. Amen. Glory. That's the truth. Amen. Claiming to be apostles. There ain't no more apostle than a frog. <laughs> All they do jump around, you know. <laughs> Glory. We don't got the foundation. We don't need none of that bunch here nowadays. We don't got. When Paul come in, you know, we know one fell God. He betrayed him. But God placed him with Paul. Thank God that he'd been through both sides of the fence. I look back at Paul. He was the leader of the whole bunch. You read Romans. You read him. Man, he give us something to stand by. Where would we be in Romans? Where would we be in First and Second Corinthians? We wouldn't know nothing about the gifts of the Holy Ghost. Thank God he told us to seek God, to fast and pray, and he'd give us the, the nine gifts of the Holy Ghost. Paul put him in the church. I said he put him in the church. Thank God he is up on this rock right here. We build the church. We got to get back upon them gifts. We got to get back not on these modern day guys, but upon the ones that gave their lives for you and me. We don't need no more foundation. We don't need no more of that box. You want to I'm an apostle. We don't got that church built. These modern day apostles made men, they're not getting it done. We're men of God. We're preachers. We need now to get our church and take their word and go preach it. I said, take his word. We don't need my word or your word. It's not written. He said, he didn't say up on this rock. 2,000 years later, he talked about up on this rock of the apostles and Jesus Christ himself, the chief cornerstone. And when you get up on that rock, thank God hell can't get through. The devil can't get through. The gates of hell cannot prevail against you. You got power of the devil. You got power over Satan. And you can stand up, thank God, and put your finger in his face. I've never chewed tobacco or smoke, but one time took one sip off of a cigarette and one chew off of somebody's wad. I said, put it on it. I quit my first chew, but I tell you, if I did chew, I'd spit it in the devil's eye. That's what the devil needs. Some of you do chew it. Thank God, spit it in the devil's eye. Get him out of here. 
Hallelujah. I said, Hallelujah. But I believe with all my heart, Jesus can't come right now. He said he'd be an hour with him, but the Bible said he's coming for a church when he do return in that eastern sky without spot, without blemish. And us preachers, and one thing about these last days, he said, that's probably almost the last hundred years that uh, God ain't running around here turning it up to see if it's going to be a rooster or a hen. <laughs> you give God your life in the last days up on the handmaids. Back then, they were the scru- floor scrubbers and dishwashers. Women in those days didn't have an education when all that was wrote. They were, but, but yet, God back there 2,000 years ago said we're going to build up on the handmaids and the servant. Not them big shots up here in Washington. Not them big shots up here at the head of the assemblies of God or the church of God or some other church. Not that bug. God ain't going to build up on them. He's going back, thank God, to the holy men of God. They still a few holy men. And he said in the last day, up on the handmaids too. They used to be the four scrubber. Well, they ain't no more handmaids. Thank God, God making preachers out of them. I said, God making preachers out of them. Hallelujah. Thank God, get that cross on your back. Get that Bible out. Have a get to read that King James Bible. Had search the scripture and see where you are. See where you are. Thank God, God's fixing to make a move and it go cut it short in righteousness and true holiness. Said he was. Didn't he say it? Said he was. Just before the coming of the Lord. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Don't throw the towel in. Then a lot of boxers already had to fight one, but he was getting some licks, and he threw the towel in. That's what's wrong in the church. It gets tough out there. Don't throw the towel in. That means you give up. You ain't give up. I tell the devil, a lot of times I get mad at him, I say, devil, I'm going to fight you. I'm going to fight you to my, don't have no nothing but my knuckles. Then I'm going to bite you to my teeth come out. Then I'm going to gum you. Hallelujah. I tell you, I'm going to Hallelujah. You're going to shut up to him. And you start talking to the devil like that, he'll get out of your way. Bible said, I give you power of those gates of hell. I give you power of the devil. I give you power of all this. God's got a power. Thank God to give those that are saying, Lord, I'm going to fight for you. I'm going to set up for you. Jesus has done paid the price. We don't need no more apostles. We got them apostles of the book of the early days, 2,000 years, up on night rock, not the modern day religion. In the modern day religion, you do almost anything. But they steal some rocks out there to just get back to the rocks that was 2,000 years ago. Then you'll start seeing one of the greatest moves. And the Bible do teach us that just before the coming of the Lord, there's going to be another outpouring. And God said he's going to cut it short. In righteousness and the coming of the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. That's why if you know you're a call of God, don't worry about the ones that walked out of the church because you're preaching the truth. You didn't need them no how. You didn't need them no how. 
If you can't say what the Bible said, you don't need no deacons no how. I call them the dickless sisters. <laughs> That's what I call them. Most of these deacons are ridiculous. It's ridiculous. But the, the, they used to saw that the preacher stayed with him, that he preached the truth. Bible said, search the scriptures. See where he at. See where he at. And he set up on this rock, not upon this assembly of God, church of God, the independence. One, there's two, there's three. Listen, I guess they got them on down. No telling how far. He didn't set up on that rock. He set up on that rock, Jesus. Hallelujah. Upon this rock, I build my church. And, he, and, and 2,000 years ago, he knows that He knew that 1,000 years is one day. He said that, didn't he? With God. 1,000 years is one day, and one day is 1,000 years. But we do know, if you read the scriptures, things he said 2,000 years, we're seeing them now. Forms of godliness. You know? Another time, he warned, said, the woman don't wear that that pertains to a man. Didn't he? And whoever does this commits abomination. But you know these preachers is covered up, don't care. But he also said something else too. That a man ain't supposed to run around run, uh, riding woman boomers. And nine of these, if you see these men out there, they ain't got shorts on. <laughs> huh? Yes, it's true. It's true, it's true. <laughs> Yes, it's true, man. <laughs> and all that's abomination. See, and if us preachers don't, I've stood up with this. And I'm going to continue to stand up with it. Till either he comes or gets me on out of here. So when I stand before that white throne judgment, my hands are going to be clean. And I've preached in over 200 nations of the world. Hallelujah. They want me more everywhere. They want me everywhere. Not because I'm somebody big, but somebody ain't been down yonder them knee colleges. Thank God I got a, I went to knee route. I went to knee, knee college. Hallelujah. I went to knee college. Hallelujah. On my knees. I didn't read get books and see what the book said. They 66 books that I read, and that's the books of the Bible. Hallelujah. The King James Bible. Hallelujah. That's the only books we need is the 66 books of the King James Bible. You get yourself saved. You get yourself washed. You get yourself set free. And I feel that anointed you yeah, today that God will pour that spirit on you. Waken you. Come out of the world and be separated. Say the Lord. Touch not. Taste not. Hell not. That which is unclean. Didn't he say that? Two thousand years ago he said it. And he ain't back down. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the fire. I said, I feel the fire of the Holy Ghost. I said, I feel the fire of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to see before these days are out a fresh anointing. You know, it is in the Bible. Yes, Some of them old prophets said, I shall be anointed, Paul and others, with what? A fresh anointing. I said, a fresh anointing. Thank you, Jesus. I said, thank you, Jesus. God the, has saved the best wine. He said, for when? Huh? For the last. For the last. Somebody knew that song, glory, glory, glory. Somebody touch me. I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I said, Hallelujah. If you're a servant of God, want to do something for God, thank God I'm going to anoint you 
of you. Get you ready for next week. Oh, hallelujah. I feel it. 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 Oh, we go, we go.